Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the HSL secondary effect, which is actually a subset or a sub effect of the Lumetri color effect um, in Adobe Premiere Pro. So to get to that, we're going to go into effects right here. Um, it's gonna be under color correction and then Lumetri color. But first, I'm actually going to create an adjustment layer. So file, new, and then adjustment layer. And the reason I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer is so that um, the HSL secondary only affects one color at a time. So to affect multiple colors, you either have to create a bunch of different adjustment layers and attach Lumetries to them, or stack the Lumetri colors on top of one another inside um, your file or your adjustment layer. I'm going to want to, I'm gonna try the stacking method, but I don't want it all to be stacked on my video. I want it to be stacked on top of an adjustment layer so that when I need to do video effects, they're there and then my color effects are in its own separate layer. So yeah, just create an adjustment layer and throw it on top and then anything you do to this is going to adjust everything beneath it. So now we can go back in here, we can go find Luma Tree Color right here and drag it onto the adjustment layer, not the footage, the adjustment layer up here. It's gonna pop up right over here the adjustment layer and then so now we've uh, gone through all of these in a previous tutorial I'll link that right here if you want to watch that but I did not go through this one because it's just a little bit more advanced and I wanted to have a full episode to kind of describe it so what it means is hue saturation and luma secondary um, so here's your hue here's your saturation your luma hue is the color of it so you know just the color wheel uh, saturation is how saturated it is, and luma is how bright it is. So the left side is black, the right side is white, and then in the middle you have your color going from really dark to a really bright of that color. And so you got a couple of buttons around here. Um, the first one you want to do is, so if you're wanting to switch around a color, is you need to set that color. So for example, we have, let's see, um, let's try to change the purple on these. And remember this is a correction tool. so it's not gonna do the best at like manipulating colors entirely. So turning this purple to a blue will be a little bit difficult, but I can affect the shade, the tone, and the hue kind of of that purple, and even transition it to kind of the side color. So um, maybe into the, the darker blues and the kind of the red to pink areas. So yeah, let's just get started. Let's click set color, and then try to find a good spot that kind of incorporates all of the purple you're trying to go for. So I'm gonna go in this middle, the deep blue. And then if you click this little saturation button right here, it is going to show you all the gray is the stuff it's not affecting and all the color you see is the stuff it is affecting. So to grab a little bit more of the image, you take these and you actually stretch them out. So right now it is grabbing everything from this hue to that side, from this saturation over and from this luma over. So that's what we're seeing right now, is the combination of this hue, saturation, and luma, and now we have control over those three objects. So however, let's make it grab a little bit more of the purple, so we can drag this out and extend it, and you'll see that it's grabbing anything uh, more that's purple, uh, because we're extending into the blacks, we're extending into the, the lighter of the purple. If we move this over just a little bit, kind of go up, actually let's move it back a little bit. So basically this is just going to be you kind of going around messing with these settings until you find the colors um, that you're trying to affect. And if you see like in After Effects, you could just click on the color and change color too. And it actually has a really advanced algorithm that would change the color for you. However, that's not our end goal. We're trying to manipulate the color, not change it entirely. So I think that we have a, a good deal of our flowers there. So let's undo, redo. Yeah, we are, I mean, we're definitely missing some of it, but it'll still work pretty well. Um, refining the mask takes time and just takes a lot of skill and figuring out, you know, what you want to do and basically learning from the past of how, what works best. So we're going to stick with that mask and then we're going to go in here. And so once you have the mask set, you can then go down here into correction. Um, right here is to refine it. So if I wanted to, we'll do this again, if I wanted to denoise it, I can do that. And it's kind of hard to see right here, but if you see there's noise a lot in here and it's trying to smooth that out so that the colors are all adjusting at the same thing and you won't have 
like the middle adjusting slightly different than the edges because it wasn't masked completely. Blur will do exactly that. It'll blur the, um, the mask outward, making it so it kind of blends in just a little bit better. Let's, we're gonna just do a little bit of the noise. We'll go maybe one blur. Yeah, I think one blur will be pretty good for what we're trying to do here. So undo saturation. And then so now, if you grab the color wheel, you start to see that we have effect over this. So if we actually bring it up, we can make these really, really pink. Or we can drag down into the blues, and it'll actually make them really purple. If you see, it's very hard. Um, we're not manipulating the color entirely. So like if I go over here into the green, it isn't becoming green. It's just pushing it more towards green. We can make the color wheel just a little bit more... Um, a little bit stronger by actually bumping up the color wheel down here. And you can see now it's like really strong effects all over the place. But we don't want that. We're just going to go back down to zero. And then, of course, you can control the temperature, tint, contrast, and sharpen of the mask as well so that you can um, really adjust everything you want with this selection. Let's see if we go up there. So yeah, um, so let's see. Let's let's just grab a cool color here. Let's. I like the kind of the pumped up red here. We'll lower that down a little bit. Yeah, that kind of looks. Let's see. What was that originally? Just you know, you can go into here, turn off lumetry. So yeah, we just kind of brightened it up, made them a little pinker, right here. Um, adjusted the color just a little bit. But now let's say we wanted to also adjust this color right here. So the best way to do that would be to then drag another Lumetri color effect above this one. And now that's on the adjustment layer, this doesn't have any effects being applied to it. So we can still manipulate the footage itself. But in coloring, we have this right here. And we can actually, oopsie, go in there. And we can actually just go down here into HSL secondary and grab a new color with this new one. So let's try to grab this right here. Saturation. So we're having we're grabbing a little bit of that up because I think that's another plant. It's exactly the same. Expand the realm a little bit here. Give it a little bit. I kind of want the full color range there, and then I also want the full luma range as well. And so that really fills fills it in. And what are we grabbing up in the top right there? Kind of a a flower the same, but you know what? we're gonna stick with it. We could even create a mask to try to um, stop that. But so, like, if I did the Lumetri, the square right here, and I dragged the square around it, it wouldn't be touching this if I really just only wanted to manipulate this. So now you can see that we are able to adjust this color right here. Uh, let's see. That gives it a kind of an interesting blue tint to it. Ooh, that actually looks. Adding green makes it actually look pretty. Pretty awesome. Let's see, let's go into Lumetri Color. Oh, so the second one was the top one right here. So yeah, we adjusted the color right there and right here. So like, let's see. So as you can see, it's secondary color correction. It's manipulating small colors and changing them around. And so with a bunch of these or with really defined colors, you can get some really awesome effects out of it. Um, Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that you can kind of have some fun with the HSL secondary tab. Um, it's really good for secondary color correction and it can really add just a little bit of a, you know, get you get it closer to the image that you have in your mind. Thanks everyone for joining. Um, subscribe to see more Adobe related videos and tutorials. And until next time guys, see ya.